What's up, friends and neighbors? It's your boy, Troy. Ready to play some Witcher 3. I, uh... I came to this realization that I need to be playing this a lot more. This was not a, uh, a deep realization. I need to be playing this a lot more because this game is so deep, so dense, and because I've committed to, or at least loosely committed to doing the story mode via Twitch, I should be playing at least three hours a day on Twitch which I cannot possibly do. Uh, and this all is really because Neo just was released this week and the reviews are outstanding. And it's like a feudal Japan Dark Souls clone, so I need to play it right now. But I can't just ignore our good buddy Jerry. There he is. Oh, Jerry Ribs. Jerry Riviera. And start a new game without giving Jerry his do and all that bullshit so i'm torn i'm i'm legitimately torn but really only in so far as i've got to be playing this a lot more so let's get to it what time is it it is seven o'clock i got an hour and a half uh, i have no idea where i am i played this by myself a little bit doing some side quests and basically what i did was there was a ton of question marks all over this area here and I just started going from question mark to question mark to question mark to question mark, clearing out side quests. You'll see I'm almost level seven uh, because of it. Got some gold up there too, 462, or crowns, or the hell they're called, orals, which is a weird name. I uh, found some camps and stuff. There was a lot of stuff above my, uh, above Jerry's pay grade that I could not deal with, like this thing here. There was a level 13 wraith. It was just a skull, like, see the skull right there? It said, basically, do not even attempt it. But I cleared out some secret caches, found some hidden treasure, blah, blah, blah. But we need to start making some headway with this storyline. First of all, let's greet the faithful, the, uh, the Twitcher faithful. Mark, what's up? Ajax, Mailman, Lonesome Joe, Lucid108, King O. Duckingham. Oh, a Frangos. Guys, thanks for... Thanks for coming. It's been a while. I know it's been a couple weeks. None of us have been twitching. I don't think Joe or Skid have been twitching either. So it's good to get back at it. I don't. I. I I've got to. I got to. I got to. I got to make some headway here. Let's. Uh, let's finish this hour and a half at level ten. That's possible, right? All right. Where the fuck are the quests? Let's check. There we go. All right. We got family matters, which is oh jeepers. Talk to the Baron. That's the next thing. That's kind of what I was doing. Then we have that uh, that Woods Witch that I met. She was like, oh, by the way, now that we've cleared out this uh, these elven ruins, there's also this lead that I'm just telling you about now, and that's the crowns, Crones of Crookback, Crookback Bog. I'm going to stick with Family Matters. Let's go talk to the Baron and then uh, see where this leads because we did a lot for this one last time. Um... Oh, right. The last thing that we learned was that I needed to go find a botchling after I led the goat to the peller. Uh, like a botchling, which is like a... I'm paraphrasing, but a, basically an aborted fetus, fetus that was brought back to life. Like an undead fetus. Really, uh, this is... This is this is treading our territory. This is no longer PG-13. So let's do that. Check out the world map. <laughs> See how far I am from this shit. Oh, bit of a hike. Uh, can I fast travel there? Of course not. Uh, or can I? Oh, I could fast travel to Crow's Perch. That would be good. But let, let me just do it from here? No. All right, so let's get to the nearest fast travel. Ah, right here. The Coast of Rex. How do I set up custom marker? All right, well, whatever. Here we go. It didn't set a custom marker. What's up, Skid? Skid's in the house. Uh, we were actually supposed to uh, record the GCP tonight, but Skid is trapped uh, because of the quote-unquote blizzard that hit New York. It's really not a blizzard. It's not that bad, to be honest. Um, Skid, where are you? Are you in Florida? Colorado? Talk to us, Skid. 
Oh, you know what? While I was screwing around online doing side quests by myself, I did get a pretty sweet new sword. Look at this shit. Three slots. The damage is pretty comparable to what I have. It has three slots that I, I have not filled with runes. And then this guy here, I think I think I had that last time. I don't know. So I'm getting I'm getting a little a uh, little tastier. This kid's in Naples, Florida, just outside of uh, Fort Myers, where the Red Sox hold their spring training. What's up, Uber Branches? GML 07, you son of a bitch. What are you doing? Don't you have a child to feed? Oh, two? Oh, wait, I walked right past the... Uh... I don't know how Twitchers can be really good at playing and conversing on this. Because if I look down for a second, I run a thousand feet past my marker. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to go to Crow's Perch. Ooh, what's that exclamation point there? Hmm. We should perhaps look into that too. Why not? Got a lot to do. What up, Todd? One out. Skid, you're at the airport, so you are flying out tonight. Strike. You son of a gun. Be careful, Skid. Uh, I kind of want to go check out that marker, but you know what? Let's. It's pretty good. Uh, I want to see this guy's face. It's pretty good. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Graphics. Huh? He's greasy. He's fat. He's got that comb over going. Anything to say? Mm. Nothing. All right, let's go talk to the Baron. I'll deal with that other exclamation. Oh, shit! It's on fire! What the hell happened? Uh-oh. You'd think the rain would, uh... Oh, fuck. What happened? Oh, no. Oh, no. Out of the way! Oh, no. That's not the right way? Holy shit, how long has this been burning? How do I get up there? You townsfolk are of no help. Last time there was a guide that led me up there. Oh, I gotta go this way, that's right. Holy shit. I'm actually nervous for the Baron's life. Out of the way. I've got a cutscene to run to. Don't you understand? What's up, Jay Gosbeck? All right, here we go. Cutscene. Cutscene. Give me a cutscene. Nothing? All right, there it is. What is going on? Oh, my God! Oswe. Where's Oswe? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. Oh, the Baron did this. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. I don't have time for your side quests. Let your brother burn. Uh, fuck it. I'll try. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! You better have money for me if I save your stupid brother. Oh, look at this. This is kind of cool. What do I even do? Can't get in that way. Let's go up this ladder. Oh, this is pretty awesome. Damn it, lots of smoke. Gotta hurry. Damn it, lots of smoke. Gotta hurry. Oh, I don't have a lot, a lot of breath. Uh, well, I can't go that way. Ah, <coughs> oh, shit, I gotta get out of here. All right, that didn't work. How do I get in? This is fun. It's like a puzzle. Open the door. How can it be locked? I feel like the first way I went was right. I should try that again. Yeah, yeah, those, I think those are my only options. This door is blocked, right? <laughs> Shit. All right, we're going up the ladder again. I wonder if this is a timed quest or if it's just timed around. Uh, get, oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Is someone's stupid brother in here? Jump down there. Oh, wait, I see him. Wait, no, that's a horse. Open. Let the horses out. Let the horses free. 
Am I just saving horses or am I saving a person? I'm pressing X, idiot. Oh shit, I'm running out of breath. I didn't see that. Ah, oh, did I do it? Did I save everyone? Did I save Reginald? Good thing I'm looking at my breath. Ah, I saved one horse. We'll call him Roach. Oh, so this is the Baron. He drank himself into fire. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you? Oh, it wasn't an abortion. It was a miscarriage. Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Yeah, I knew this guy was a piece of shit. So he beat his wife and daughter. Oh, it's a fight. They ran from you, didn't they? Oh no, my battery is low on my controller? And the Baron is beating me in a fist fight. Oh, damn it, I gotta plug in my controller? Drone him. Oh, that's cool. That's a good shot. Kill him! We need to talk. So he beat his wife until she miscarried, and then the miscarried fetus came back as an undead botchling. That old, that old story. <sighs> Sit down. All right, I gotta plug my controller in while we watch you this beat cutscene. I never laid a finger on Samara, not once. Bullshit. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Oh, shit. I actually have to do something. Uh, you knew they ran away. Anna, how'd she get you away? You never hit your daughter, really? Yeah, I think that's a fair question. Expect me to believe you're a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hooked with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage. For only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. You they ran away? You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? The flaccid prick's a good uh, insult. I need to use that more. Skid, you're being a real flaccid prick tonight. Ah, uh, they didn't run away. You drove them out. Yeah, that's fair. Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I, it wasn't as it seemed. Seems. Not interested. Don't much care what you have to say. I'm supposed to find your family, and I will. With your dead baby's With your dead baby's help. <laughs> Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Oh boy. It's fucking what? You heard me? Uh, you don't need the details. Details you don't need to know. We know how it works. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. The hell's a lubberkin? It's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian ah, okay. Could lead me Find the botchling, me. kill it, bury it back oh, here, boy. and then a lubberkin will appear and lead he me to the blood, mother, who is presumably the with the daughter, best. who he allegedly didn't beat. It's I'm exhausted! Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Where'd you bury the fetus? Show me! Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. 
I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. <sighs> Japers, this story is the sooner we deep. resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Let us stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave. No, Take use it. your hands. You'll need it, but not for that. All right, this is a very convoluted story. I'm, I'm surprised the uh, developers went this route. Basically, you've got a bloody baron, this guy, who uh, beats his wife enough that she not only miscarries but leaves him. And uh, he pretends it's a kidnapping and takes their other daughter. He buries the fetus. The fetus comes back as an undead and is now tormenting you give the child a name? them. No. I don't what know what's happening. Mistake. Names are powerful Take out my magical sword. Take some Han fiber on the way. Here's the spot. Ooh, cutscene. I have no idea what this looks like. Is it just going to be like a tiny little uh, Ally McBeal kind of dancing baby? Or is it going to be a giant troll? Good. I'm pitching, picturing the Ally McBeal dancing baby. What's that mean? Botch things on the prowl. Means there's a botching, you idiot! Oh, shit. Uh... All right, everybody. It's a fetus fight. Oh, God. It's like a, uh, in Pathfinder, it's called an Attic Whisperer. It's very similar. Uh, turn it into a blubber kit. Blubber kit. Take it in your arms, quick. Hold it. Kiss it. Kiss it on the mouth. Nurse it at your breast. Rabbit. It's calling for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. I don't know how to do that, but Pick it I'll up. trust Jerry. Take it in your arms. Oh, this is gross. Now I see why this game was rated 10. Oh, gross! Oh, my God! Now, kiss it. Put it down your pants. Back to the fortress. Oh my god, with this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends. Change it into a lubricant. This oh, is cool. Which your senses on, 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 on. Hold on, let me loot this. For some common armor. Oh boy. That's what you get for beating your wife till she miscarries. That's what uh, I always say. Botchling is a great sort of uh, bestiary name for this. Oh, oh shit. Oh, Pro how do I do that? Protect the Baron from wraiths. How do I, oh, from wraiths. Shit. Come on, too late. Wraiths everywhere! The Wraith Parade! Oh, shit. I've not played this in too long. Dead Wraith. Alright, down to one Wraith. Nice. Alright. Need a quick honeycomb. I don't know how to calm it down. I don't know how magic works in this game. What do I do? I legit don't know what to do. 
All right. Uh, influence mines, telekinetic blast, fire, protective shield. Yurden? I, none of these do what he's asking me to do. Maybe influence mines. Oh. Oh. Yes, that worked. That. That was cool. Stick with me, Baron. What do you want to do with it? Hey, Eat it. Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house. Help so we have to bury this family. fetus alive. Awesome. Hope you brought a shovel. Come on, Baron. If I know video games, I'll have to fight three more wraiths before we do this. Yep. Honeycomb. Nice. Just quend you. Nice. All right. Oh, wait, I thought they were all dead. There's two more. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yoko Ono. How many are these? Oh no, I'm in bad shape. Oh no! Oh no! I'm trying to quen this thing. Influence its mind. Come on, you son of a bitch. Dead. Is the baby calm? I'm using all my magic! Oh, my God, this is tough! All right. Chosen the name? No. So think of one. It's important. We shall call him Susan. What would honor of Nida? Susan! Lazy Susan, if you ask me. I hope I don't have to do another Wraith fight. All right, cutscene. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, gross. He looks like he kind of likes what it now. now. Repeat after me. Rockabye baby. Sky. On the treetop. By the powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I wonder how they explain this to the voiceover actor that you got cast in this part, who I, who I want to believe has I never played video games before. And He's like, all right, so in this scene, you're holding your undead fetus, who has now turned into a monster and casting a spell on it so that it passes out Good. and then you have to bury it bury the body. and hope it turns into a lubberkin. Go! I wonder what would happen if I had just attacked it. Because that was an option. What now we I wait. In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do yep. here. 
Nice Oop. try, Baron. No buts. Too little, too late, bro. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubricant. That's it. Go home and try not to drink yourself stupid again. You're dumb drunk. Oh, level seven, motherfucker! Nice. Let's go turn in some ability points. Oh shit, what do I want to do? Let me get some mutagens on here. All right, um, could go to signs. Uh, fuck alchemy. Sun and stars was the one I wanted to put juice into. Um, I need to open up, uh, I think, Right now I have three, four, five, I have six points in the branch, but I need to open up more in order to, uh, I need to open up two more. Basically put one into each of these in order to get the second level stuff. So let's just uh, do that. Deflect arrows or lightning reflects. Deflects. Let's do deflect arrows. Okay, now that says, okay, great. So once I unlock that, boom, we're gonna get the second level stuff. And that's, that's going to be much better for my button measure. All right. Good. All right, guys. We are making some headway here. I guess we just got to meditate for 24 hours. <clears throat> Not a whole lot I can do. I'm just waiting for a lubberkin to grow. Ooh, you know what? I could use a little sword fixing. Maybe I have the uh, stuff in my end. Armor repair. Awesome. That's not what I need. Steel sword 66 to 80. Yeah, that's way better than this shit. All right. Um, I gotta repair it. I think there's an armor over. Yeah. Out of the way. Hey there, dwarf. How can I help you? You're not a dwarf. Interesting accent. Get a big went. What are you selling? What's good? Oh wait, she's just selling? She... Oh, oh, that armor is better than what I have. What does it cost? Oh, cost. Uh, wait, what does it cost? Does it cost exactly the amount that I have? It does. That's crazy, 462. Get out of here, how convenient. The conversation went like this. Hey, how much does that armor cost? Well, what do you have? About 462 crowns. That's what it costs. Uh, shit, can I just... Uh, oh, I can only shop from her? Get out of here. Farewell. Take care now. Now we're oh, talking. Yeah, assist you. you can... Uh... Shit, I don't think he's going to be able Need to help armor. me. Um... Hair? Oh, maybe. Okay. So this one's in bad shape. Can I... Oh, 322 to repair it? That's brutal! And this thing is at 56. Oh, what do I do? I guess I just eat it. That is... Oh, that costs 540 to repair? All right, wait a minute. No, that's 322. I don't know what's happening. Oh, that's 45. Okay, that makes sense. What is this? Okay, 118. Great. This stuff is not in great shape. Maybe I'll just... You know what? I'm... I gotta get better armor at some point anyways. Uh, okay, cool. Farewell. Moving so on. I don't, I don't, I'm afraid to repair everything because, uh, I don't have the gold for it. I, I, I read that, uh, you get gold later in this game. Like, it's hard to come by early and then you don't know what to do with all the gold you have. All right, so what are we doing? We're just waiting? Let's fucking meditate. No, I don't want to go backwards in time. Let's go to here. Random encounter! All right. 
Summon the Lubberkin where the botchling is buried. Got it. Uh, all right, sit and wait. Guess I could have done that without meditating. You're right, Afrangos. I got to sell some of this shit. I should have done that while I was talking to him. I'll do it after I die to this Lubberkin. Ooh, wow. A whole, whole 24 hours. Power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Susan, rise. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Oh, Dea. 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 Oh, shit. Oh, no. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Oh, God. That's... That's amazing. What is happening in this game? Come on. Is everyone seeing this? Henchman? You guys seeing this Lubberkin or just me? That is cool. Skid, you gotta be loving this. Oh, we're taking a left. I hope she's not really far. Lubberkin, can we take, can we fast travel? Can we take a boat? Oh, that guy saw it. Oh boy. Come on, Lubs. Be kind of weird if they weren't very far. Like he's been searching everywhere and they're right down the street in a tent. Come on, Lubs. All I can think of is, oh shit, a drowner. Is Coach Lubbock from like just the ten silver. of us? Oh shit! I don't have time to fight you. I got Lubbockins to chase. I will draw my sword though. Oh, look at this convenient little hut. No one checked this hut. A quarter mile away from the Baron's residence. Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around, though. Ooh, iron armor. Wait, lab oh, maybe it stinks. Are they dead? Oh, no, they might be dead. If he said it wasn't lavender they kept in there, they might be... Uh-oh, what is this? Something. They change in here. This is weird. What is this? Loot? Water. Good. More water. Excellent. Oh, what is this? A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Clearly. All right, so they changed their clothes. There's a bracelet. There's footprints. The lubricant is surprisingly calm. Oh, wait, here we go. Let me just stand exactly at the point where the last she examined. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Both were here and going the right way. Obviously, you're going the right way. Wants the Lubberkin just more. led me to clues? That's stupid. Oh, great. Get out of here. Well, I don't even know what that is. Come on, Lubs. Lub! Lub will keep us together. So basically, they ran to that house, changed their clothes, accidentally dropped a bracelet, hopped on horses, and took off. Okay, makes sense. Oh, crap. That looks like something from Fallout 4. No, all right, these we're gonna fight. Necrophages had a few of them. Necrophages. They don't like Igni. What is happening? He led me into a trap! It's an ambush! The Lubberkin's part of it! Oh, gross. I don't even know what's happening with these things. Oh, I'm dead. I am 100% dead. 
This honeycomb is not gonna do the trick. Come on, come closer. Oh shit. Put your sword up, you douche. Oh, my armor is shot. I don't know what that means. Oh, that means it's about to explode. Should examine that horse carcass. All right, so this is the horse they took. Assume, we assume. Bone, saddle, ribs, legs, head. Let's go legs. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Ah, perhaps. What about its head? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Oh shit. I gotta fight something that rips heads, horses' heads off. Uh, what about the saddle? Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. That's racist. Uh, what about the ribs? Ribs. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Uh oh. Great. Bones have been here a while. Let's summarize. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Somebody asked me what mm -hmm. Jerry Riviera's uh, doesn't end here. Pathfinder class would be, and I said Ranger Sorcerer. But I think I've neglected. He's got at least a level or two in uh, Investigator. That uh, Lubberkin's gonna have to wait until I'm done searching the bodies. Hold up, Lubs. This is necrophage blood. What about this thing? Oh, it's just a sad little man. All right, that's enough. Let's go, Lubs. Yeah, my last honeycomb. Lub. Lub will keep us together. I gotta change my arm. Chest plate out. Rule of threes says there's at least one more encounter before my cutscene. Uh oh, something's up here. Something's up here. Oh, crap. Oh, wait, no. Wrong sword. Ah, crap. Take that, Poochie. Time to end this. Come on, you dumb dogs! Yeah, what? Oh, you didn't like that, did you? All right. Maybe that was the third encounter? I did skip some other ones. Let me just steal that wolf sliver in case I get hungry. All right, something's up here. Let me bring out my magical sword just in case. What is going on here? What if I had just stumbled upon this? Like, say the mom and the daughter are in here. What if I had stumbled upon this without doing quest stuff? Hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Dea. Let me ignite this torch. So they'll know I'm coming. Broken ore. Uh, I don't sense any enemies. Oh, here we go. Seek here, sir. Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We know. We has nothing. We knows Just nothing. Information. Looking for two women, the bloody baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure. Not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about twenty. Her mother's thin, about forty. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Oh. That kid sucks girl who stayed with you. What happened to her? Uh, let's just go like this. Who'd you see? I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. You didn't see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. Must have dreamt it. He's a kitty. Well, Must have dreamt it. Dream, I will beat so that dream out of your child. You see who came here? A 
Pappy brought her at night. The lady does her medicine. Oh, she Pappy brought her. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Ah. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb. Yeah, let's go, Pappy. Sorry, Spill the beans. You don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than the crow's perch with a baron. Why? Because cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone yeah, knew. That's a tough thing. It's but like I'm trying to find the baron's wife and daughter stop. who ran away from his drunken fits of beating. What happened to I don't know what the mother. end game is here for Jerry. Uh, like this. I was in the old but it looks like they got into their own horses. trouble while trying to escape. So dark. So. Couldn't see past two L's in front of them. Moon had risen high. But still it hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth. But finally they came forth. And we set off towards the water. Nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds. Swarms of them coursing over the woods. Watch her grab a knife. Make your ears bleed. No. Nope. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then... Oh. Marks on her hands. So one of them has got some, uh, got some witcher in him. Well, well, well. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron. Oh, but didn't we think that maybe the daughter was involved in some dark magic? I think we found a shrine in the basement. There's just too much going on. I need an assistant. and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Uh, okay, what happened next? Fine, what happened next? Grew even. Jerry's not phased. Seems someone had put Nothing phases Jerry. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods. Big as a barn. Big as a barn horns, with horns and two burning, and two burning coals, coals for eyes. For eyes. I thought I was done for. Oh, that's weird. So the, the wife Mrs. or the daughter... I'm thinking the daughter... Oh, ripped its head off. Okay. And Miss Tamara has got spooked and tore off willy nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Uh, okay, okay. I guess I'm starting to piece this together. The mother has got the dark powers. I don't know. I'm still very confused. She had these symbols burned into her hand, and as this was happening, a beast came out of the woods. Ripped the head off the horse, and that's the last they saw. Okay. So where's the daughter? Uh, why did you help them? Now that's pretty obvious. Thanks for your help. Thanks, Thanks for nothing. For your help. I know less than the I did lady. when I came in. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? No, son. She's going to I'll die horribly. Can to see that she is. <laughs> Maybe you should grow some hair and not look like a douche. Tell your sister to stop playing stupid balancing games on a floor! Both of you! Look, what is this game they're playing? Go out, get some fresh air. Stop playing tightrope. Uh, I guess I shouldn't steal their things. I mean, what are they gonna do? Call the cops? All right, all right, I won't steal your stuff. Were very unhelpful. Enjoy your evening and your dumb kids. Oh, cutscene. Come on, Lubs. We got some we more work to do. Emerge. Naked dead baby. Naked Go in peace. Oh, that's it. And there there she goes. <laughs> oh, three Hondo. That's some nice XP. Talk to the Baron about his family. Again. Or find Tamara, the Baron's daughter in Oxford. Right, so Tamara got away, the mom didn't. Oof, what do you guys think? I think I'm tired of talking to the Baron. I want action. 
Let's check out the old quest log. Oh, still have family matters here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, talk to the Baron or Oxenfurt. Yeah, fuck, I'm done talking to the Baron. I'm gonna go talk to Tamara. I know everything I need to know about the Baron for right now. All right, so where is that in relation to where I am? Ooh, boy, that's a hike. I have to go there by boat. Oh, there's one bridge. Uh, oh, I can't even uh, fast travel. I can get to Hangman's Tree. That's probably the closest. Although, from where I am. All right, let's just hike. Let's see if we can come on to anything in the way. Uh, maybe there's a boat here. This looks seaworthy. No? Right. Let's do the broken rake. I do have to uh, dump this shit that I have. I'm going to be overweight soon. I right, this is all garbage. Um, let's take a swim. Fastest way between two points is a straight line. Ajax man, man, Kira just wants me to go see the crooked bogs. There are enemies floating right beneath me. But I got ten points and swim. I'm cool. Ooh, a new marker. Pete's landing. Pete's dragon. Sweet. What's over here? Anything good? Got some. I uh, got a box here. Oh, and I. Wait, did someone just attack me? I feel like some. Can I please search this box? Oh, yeah, someone is attacking me. Alright, that's why I can't search the box. Who dares to shoot? It's me. Wrong sword. Ah, it looks to be a human. Good sir! Good sirs! Oh boy! Okay, that is above my uh, level of attacking. Where is this fast marker so I can get out of here? Any last words? Crap. Don't start trash talking to me. I'll kill you. Okay. Um, oh boy. If this was an episode of Quantum Leap, it would end with Jerry being like, Oh boy. Do, 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 do. And that's how it would end. The end. See you next week. I should start ending episodes of the Glass Cannon Podcast like episodes of Quantum Leap. Oh boy. Hey guys, there are a bunch of people trying to kill me if you want to do anything besides cheer. Anyone? No? Cool. Thanks for your help, guys. For MILF card. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll fix my armor. Who said they do that? I want to give props. Fix your armor, Troy. Where'd it go? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I was looking down at the fucking chat. I have not saved once. Oh, this could be bad. I'm probably just going to be back at their hut. <sighs> I hate games that don't auto-save. I really hope I don't have to go all the way. Maybe right when I found that marker, then it would autosave. That would be good. If I'm back at the Baron burying the uh, botchling, I'm going to end the Twitch and never start it again. I think this is a three-act game, and I am maybe midway through Act 1, so... I'll probably never beat it. I think the only way I could... Well, I don't know. Is this going to be 120 hours of Twitch time? I just don't think that's possible. All right, so that's what I thought right after you. Good. Well, I don't want to go into that ambush. Well, fuck it. I can actually go over there and just not get ambushed. If that's it. See, another option is to play a little bit when I'm not twitching 
and go through story missions, but then you guys miss out on all the uh, fun. Uh, the problem is sometimes I can play, but I can't twitch. Very tough. See, that Sun and Stars skill that I got is replenishing my health. That is a clutch early ability. All right, where is the marker? I don't know. I gotta lay low. I don't want to get attacked by these guys. They're, they killed me in like two shots. So let's be a little sneaky. Don't tell me what I can't do. New marker. Persons in distress, they will have to remain as such. What is this? Very good. Oh, wait. All right, I've got two markers telling me where to go. Uh, what is the real sitch? All right, that's the real one. So what is it telling me to do down here? What is this? Who are you? Oh, talk to the Baron. No, no, no. I don't want to talk to the Baron. All right, so the one I'm pointed at now is not the right one. That's the one I want to go to. It's very far. Just gonna have to run. I guess I could call Roach. Roach! Where are you? Roach! Hello! There you are. Move it! To Oxenrod, or whatever the hell it's called. To Axel Rose! Take the King's Road. Oh. That's a lot of enemies. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Oh, new marker. Sweet. Man, there are a lot of enemies. One time I was playing uh, and not twitching, and oh, I got to an area. Oh, shit. Yet. What is that? No, no. Get out of the road! And every enemy was like seven levels higher than me. So I think sometimes the map dictates the uh, CR of the encounters. Oh, sorry guys. Pardon me. If you're getting to an area of the map where it's all too difficult for you, you've gone the wrong way. Oh, that looks like there could be something there. Monster nest. Not interested. You're not. Oh, level nine too. Oh, the horses. Fear level is up. Go and buy a lot of cool stuff, but gotta go find the daughter. Bandit camp. Sweet. Come on, Roach. What's this? Out of the way, guys. Good thing about uh, going far away from areas that you haven't been to, you can unlock markers to be able to get back there quick. That's pretty sweet. Oh, I'm thinking I'm close. Maybe I'll dismount. Take it easy. There's a lot going on. What do you know of the law? I guess I can fix my armor. My armor is such garbage, though. Oh, I got two things. Yeah, I'll fix my armor. There, are you happy? You happy, everyone? Oh, good. It's unlocked. This must be Oxenford. Nope, it's the stonecutters. Basically, the masons. These are the Freemasons. Oh, good, my iPad's on low battery, too. Way to prep for your Twitch, Troy. Way to prep. Okay, that was not Oxenford, but I am surrounded by enemies. Fool's parsley. What is that? Oh, shit. Who are you? Level seven? Come here, ghoul. Come on. 
You are of a level with me. And you burn like any other man. I shall take your monster tooth and your ghoul's blood. For Highbury. Ghoul! Feast on fire! Which way to Oxenford, ghoul? Ah, daisies. Am I even close? No. <laughs> no, not at all. Although I, this is gonna be fun. What is Roach doing way over there and I'm way over here? Am I going the wrong way? Yep. It's exhausting. I am going the wrong way, aren't I? It's also confusing. Uh, all right, so I need to be going this way. Let me just make sure. Yeah, okay. Sorry, sorry everyone. Jerry's been drinking. Got a little bit of a uh, dwarven spirit for the Twitch. Oh, dances with elks. It's Jerry's spirit name. Have any of you guys ever played a shaman in Pathfinder? That's a fun hybrid class that I, uh, I've never played with a shaman. I've never uh, been in a game with someone being a shaman or been one myself. I think a shaman would be fun, like a Shawanti shaman. That's kind of front door. Everybody would be a Shawanti shaman, like a elf shaman. A shaman is like a witch cleric, I think. That's because it's a hybrid class. Witch cleric? That sounds right. Definitely cleric. No, I mean definitely witch. Maybe not cleric. Maybe witch oracle? Yes. I think that's right. I think it's a witch oracle. All right. What is going on here? Examine this home have a lot of space to take things. Ooh, the Wild Hunt. What's that? Let me read that shit. I read it. I counted. Rotting flesh? I don't need to take that. Got plenty of that where I came from. Uh, wire... I mean, how often do you find things that are actually useful in these rando loots? It's not like, oh, a uh, level 19 sword. No, it's like water. Ale. Hello, gentlemen. Which way to Oxenford? Was oh, this the big bridge? Yeah, this is the big bridge. Okay, good. I wonder if she'll be easy to find. Look at this. That is beautiful. I wonder if weather in this game is completely randomized or it's based on where you are. Like, if you get to a certain point in the game, it's like the Truman Show. Cue rain. To in invoke a somber mood. All right, this guy's a Redanian soldier. That's unnecessarily rude. In settled areas such as cities, villages, and camps, paths tend to be narrow and obstacles numerous. For this reason, your maximum movement speed. Oh, interesting. Oh, a cutscene. Oh, no shit. Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's in Why? Order, so I don't. Unless someone. Jedi mind trick. Jedi mind trick. Now let me do. Uh, yeah, let's see what kind of pass. What kind of pass are we talking about? Well, a normal one. A transit pass. Who issues them? How should I know? I'm you a need a metro card. Uh, what kind of pass are we talking about? No, I already asked him that. Who's restricted Who access? The city gates closed. Word is the king himself. Doesn't want paupers and refugees pissing all over his beautiful city. That's fair. Apart from which, when folk can go hither and thither, always a chance some spy will slink through. This way, spies got it harder. I so, see. No pass, no passage. Well, where do I get a pass? Farewell. Thou shall not pass. Yeah, let's track that quest. Fuck his death. Hey guys, um, 
Just talk to your boss. He said I was allowed to walk through, so... Keep, uh, keep doing what you're doing. Just need you to open these gates. Your boss said I could... Damn it. Didn't work. It's the only diplomacy I have. Alright, uh... Ooh, level seven. Let's do it. Wow, I'm already seven and a half! I wasn't joking when I saw I'll finish this Twitch at ten. Acquire a pass granting permission to cross the Ponta. All right, the Redanian army has placed blockades in the crossing of the Pontar, something which at one point proved quite inconvenient to the Witcher, yes. The guards refused to let him cross without showing a special pass issued by high command. Oh shit, what is that? Master armors get blasted. Level 24, that's crazy. Okay, so where do I go to get this pass? That is the question. Uh, nowhere? I go nowhere? Acquire a pass granting permission to cross the Pontar! How do I do it? Don't you guys tell me. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking rhetorically uh, to myself. Interesting. Perhaps it's not on the map. I got one quest available. I don't know. Huh. This is a bit of a quandary. Oh, right here, over here near Crow's Perch. I guess I can check that out, but very strange. Very strange, if you ask me. No one else to talk to? Oh. Oh. That's... You need to present yeah, the I know. Oh. Huh. Farewell. Acquire pass. Interesting. Alchemy paste. Well, I'm not gonna loot right outside the city. Do you guys have a pass? Anybody have a pass? Are you making a pass at me, sir? Alchemy paste. All right. Any of you guys have a pass? Wow, well, they're not letting anybody in. Okay. Okay. Bet you if I kill one of these dudes. Pass. All right, thanks everybody, thanks for nothing. I kind of like that they're not telling me exactly where to get the pass. Uh, I, one complaint I have this game is everything is a little too, here, go here and do this. Like I kind of like the, uh, uh, you know, the not knowing. I don't like being spoon fed my games between me, you and the wall. Uh, all right. Honor the Thanks, everybody. Thanks for uh, being shitty. That's kind of cool how they, in depth, the developers went in order to build fortifications and the bridge and everything. They had to, like, deforest the area. That's pretty true to life. That's cool. Maybe these beggar tick blossoms will help me build a pass. Ah, it was in this chest. Smoking pipe. And a pass! These rolling fields. All right. Well. Okay. Okay. All right. Jerry must continue to roam countryside. Looking for a pass. And perhaps a chance at love. All right. What is this little town? Man, they just hang people everywhere. Hello, sir. Long live, etc. And who's he, what's he? Oh, this guy's Redanian soldier. He's got a pass. So, what the fuck? Huh? What the fuck? Just looking through your stuff. Just killing you. I just want to talk to him. I just want to kill him. Is this a pass? No, it's a map. Okay. Super, super 
not help. All right, look at these poor people. Bare feet, working. All simple, honest workers like myself can't find a pass. All right, fuck the pass. We're moving on. Where is the nearest... Uh, Uh, oh, right here, stone cutters settlement. That's right. Where is the? Uh, here, here. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Pardon me. Fast travel. All right. What I'm gonna do now is go to the only thing with an exclamation point on the board here. Oh wait, no, that's a notice board. Where is the? Right here. I don't know what it is, but that's where I'm going. Gotta keep things moving forward. Hey guys. Hey guys, hey. Where is this exclamation point, right? Yeah. I don't know what this is. Let's go check it out because it's bothering me. I'm going to draw my magical sword just because there's drowners literally everywhere. This place is infested. Oh, what is going on here? That's interesting. Didn't know I could fly. Look at these drowners. They just walk amongst us. Oh, is this guy the quest? Are you the quest? Yep. All right. Halt! Standing Jew! What? Challenge you. You're challenging a witcher. Boots a bit big, maybe. Careful not to trip. Oh. Halt, Take that, your manhood. I am Rondbid of the small marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor Maid Bilberry. Maid Blueberry, fairest of all the maids. I know. By dueling a hundred knights to the death, and I draw your sword. Post haste, for I have ninety nine left after you. Uh, I should just. Uh, all right, let's do this. Yeah, fuck it. At your service. Let's get this over with. This guy wanted to duel. Oh, he's level nine. The best way to win a duel, good sir, is to burn. Oh, he yielded right after I burned him. Had enough? Yes. Luck stood with you. But, but the next time we meet. Next time, I'll kill you. Challenge me again. Raise your hand. Draw your sword. Look at me the wrong way, and I'll kill you. That's right. You so sure of that? Yup. Yes. We shall see. That was my quest? How the hell did I even get involved in that? All right, well. I guess we'll go talk to the bloody Baron, since I don't have a pass. All right. I'll kill a drowner while we're at it. Good practice. Lost your nerve. Oh. Damn it. It's good practice. I hate that you can't. You have to be like standing right in the right spot to loot. Oh. Drowner loot. Monster hair. That's a new one. Fuck it. All right. Let's go talk to the Baron. Am I going to have to duel that guy a hundred times? I'm very confused by his threats. Hey, guys. Do, 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 do. Sheathe my sword. Back here. Meanwhile, back in Velen. Ugh. Everyone's afraid of a witcher. Watch this girl. Nope. All right. Perhaps the Baron will know of this pass I seek. Got a shop. We got a armor. That's good. Oh. 
And remember me. Cutscene. No. Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. Oh yes, Don't I remember. Forget that. Here. I'm Here's one thousand gold. Damn it. Thank you, dummy. Um. Now confused my sense of direction. Uh, I would say uh, Le Baron is probably in here. This is where he was last time. Baron? 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 Let me turn on the quest, save some time. Oh, they didn't... Uh... Oh, here we go. Is he outside? Damn it, that's why I came inside. Fool me twice, Baron. Where's he upstairs? No, I'm all over the place. Uh, maybe he's upstairs. Maybe he's in his solar. If I walk in on him drinking, so help me! This is Tamara's room, remember? It's in her chest. A doll, candy. I'll take the candy. Leave the doll. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Ah, what is this? Hmm. Damn, ugly for a doll. Yeah, I need to stick with things to hurt someone. All right, uh, where is this jackass? Is he outside? I think I can see. Yeah, he's outside. Oh, he's in his little garden, I think. What a loser. Some hair of the hound. <laughs> Good work, guys. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Witcher, a word, please. All right, you get one word. What is it? That night, when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside, what did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there, the place. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. <laughs> Skid, can you get Twitch on your flight? Is that like a JetBlue option? <laughs> uh, he doesn't drink he just sits here and thinks where are you Baron oh he's not looking good looks like you got a letter there you are ooh look at that see the hollyhock there see the hollyhock violet blooms brought the plants here from Nazaire Anna had read some story insisted on having them Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, were called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Maybe you I was shouldn't have beat her. Spirits free. Just my two cents. Now, don't be sweet with them. Get right to the point, Jerry. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly. Out. Good. I'd like to hear this again, as I was only half paying attention the first time. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Because I need a pass, damn it! Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. Yep. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. 
You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. I don't... I mean, I'm going to go, but I don't want to do it because he told me to. I'm going to say I'll go. Not much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this. All it enticement. Ooh, letter of safe conduct. That might help. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the redying. Yeah, nice. Damned hard to get to know big lad without one. Good, good. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Yeah, she's dead. Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. I mean, nothing yet. What are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. Yeah, that's only fair. Fine. A word once given. Bringing back your wife so you can beat her again. Please, tell me about my friend. Ooh, here comes a flashback! That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltis' feasts. Were he still among the living? Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. She has grown oh, into quite a young that. woman. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? Kaya Morin. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to say on the road. What they don't know won't hurt them. A little here, a little there. Not That's surprising, right. Not giving you one to the world alone. Not alone no more. She's in the company now. That's right. You're a member of the company. We're drinking together, killed a wild boar as a pack, you might say. But we've no notion how you arrived here. A woman in a man's garb, razor on her back. Razor on her back. You were mercenary. Uh, I'm going to say just a traveler. I just travel a lot. And I don't always happen upon such good and civil company. Ah, it's a tradition in this company that we all have sex with each other. Is that cool? Good, good. Right this way. This I like. Drinks like a lad, knows her sword work, kills a boar as if it were a piglet. A she-wolf. If ever I've seen one. All right, all right. A woman could swing a sword. I've known one. But, but can she get trapped in a burning barn? All tipsy on uh -huh. Nothing strange on account of bloody mountain and sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager. Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Do I have to do a horse race side quest right now? What is this, Red Dead Redemption? Howard. What happened? You get the jitters? Oop, the Baron's eating this up. <laughs> so why he not? loves a good pissing contest. To race the Baron himself, I'd consider it an honor. Oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. Ooh. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Oh boy. Do I really have to do a horse race? What is this? The tutorial? Come on! Come on with this nonsense. I'm a witcher, baby. So I don't drink you more. Velen, Northern Temeria, Sunrise. Ah, who shall win, the tortoise or the hare? The day dawns. Ready? As ever, first one to the tower. Man chop! Something's gonna happen. Siri, 
Oh shit, I am way off course. Siri does her, she just plays by her own rules. Shit, there's another right way. All right. It's like trying to chat and play this game. Gotta follow the road though. I feel like something bad's gonna happen in this race. That's good storytelling. What all started out as a simple race ended in death. That'll be the day. I think I won. Yeah, 6,000 experience points. Not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. All right, he's a man of his word. A drunken wife beating man of his word, but a man of his word nonetheless. Drunk, drunken wife beating Barry's unborn child. Oh shit, man of his word. Ooh, good thing she had that razor on her back. Is that a griffin? That looked a little more badass than a griffin. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. Even were he to break his neck. They make it. Some, I, others were not so fortunate. But what happened then, I must say, which uh, seen a lot, but nothing like this, never. Uh oh, I know that look. You're a fast learner. Good call, Jay Gazbeck. Giant Griff. Working on it. And making piss poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry, I'll find Anna too. Let's play Gwent. No. No, 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 no. See ya. So long. I got my pass, motherfucker! Let's get out of this shithole. Boom. How am I doing on gold right now? I love gold. 419. Wouldn't mind some better armor between... Oh, come on. Another cutscene! Wait, Witcher. When you find my daughter, will you give her this? And he just gives her my backhand. Oh, I, I mean, all right. Your dad told me to say hi. Psh. Ah. Ah, the cloth doll. Give her this doll. She'll know what it means. The doll's covered in bruises. That's right. All right. Um, let me just use that stupid thing. Uh, all right, let me talk to the old armorer for a second. I'd like better armor. Uh, what do you offer first? Let's check out your wares, good sir. I only have so much time left to play. Do you still have that armor that costs exactly the amount of what I have? All right, so I'm rocking... Actually, no, I don't know. All right, 60 armor. 460, I can't even afford it. One. I'd like your shirt, sir. Uh, oh, even the pants are better. Pants are all right. I can always find better pants. Um, okay, let's go to... Oh, ooh, did you hear that buzzer? That's the sound of my very special guest. Hold on, everyone. Hold on. Hello, special guest. Please come to the fourth floor. I am mid twitch. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. I told you if you saw my post on Facebook or Twitter that there would be a special guest at the end of this twitch. And sure enough, there is. And this person is about to see my new apartment for the first time. Uh, crafting. Uh, you guys are going to just have to listen to this all go down. Uh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Please remove your shoes and pants before entering, as is tradition. Mm. 
ladies and gentlemen, all the way from deep in the heart of Astoria, Mr. Joe O'Brien! Joe! You need a climber's kit to get to this fucking apartment. <laughs> We're in the penthouse suite, buddy. Hey, Welcome, buddy. huh? How are you? I'll give you the full tour in a second, but uh, your, your adoring public wants to say hi. You What's going it? on, everybody? <laughs> I gotta take off three pounds of winter gear. <laughs> Did you walk here? Or? Three pounds, ten pounds. Uh, it's very, very cold out. It changed my encumbrance. Uh, uh, what are you doing here? I'm uh, just crafting armor in the most exciting twitch ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, just talking to dwarves, so crafting armor. I thought about that when you started twitching Witcher 3. I was like, I spent hours in that game. <laughs> Just crafting. Like, I'm not sure how this is going to translate. Just collecting flower petals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this palatial estate. I know. i got to give you the full tour, buddy. Um, I'm, uh, I'm about to wrap this up here. We just, we just had a, uh, a breakthrough with this wife-beating drunkard. Um, oh, that guy. Yeah, the bloody baron. He's the worst. How far did you get in this before? Let me say hi to some of my friends here. Dr. House, Mixed Field, what's going? Lucid! Lucid! <laughs> Uber branches, good to see ya. Oh man, it is very, very nice. This is a pleasant surprise. This is nice. It's a huh? business meeting evening. It is. Joe. And uh, Joe is here only for business. He surprised me with a twitch. Yeah, I thought <sighs> uh, I thought it'd be fun if I ended it right when you came. <laughs> Doctor House says Troy hired a stripper. <laughs> yep, a real cheap one. A real? <laughs> they don't come cheaper than Joe Fry. <laughs> Chestnut King is here as well. What's going on, Photon it's, it's Chief? It's Come on. Crew. Come on. It's the whole crew. Oh, it is good to see you guys. Uh, I'm just going to get to this next point here and end the, uh, end the Twitch. Is anybody else out here in this uh, East Coast stormy storm, winter storm? Skid was at the airport watching this uh, in Naples, Florida, and uh, and now I think he is on the plane watching it somehow. I don't know. Maybe they get internet on the on the plane, I'm not sure. You know they have internet on planes now. It's pretty routine. It's not very good, though, is it? You can, like, yeah, it's hard to stream. It's hard oh, yeah? to stream, yeah. They'll be like, it's 25 bucks for the flight for internet. Right. And you can do anything you want. And I, I'll be like, oh, man, I really I really want to watch some Netflix. And I'll just be like, 25 bucks. And then Netflix, and I just get loading, just loading, loading, loading. Nothing. All right, let's see if this asshole will let me through now. <laughs> Magic Murder Hob Hobo says, finally, someone who can read the chat. You gotta put the chat on your screen. You gotta I gotta figure how to it do out. That. Yeah, we'll have to work the software. That can that? I'll add it to the uh, line items for tonight's meeting. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm missing a seal. Oh, what Skid, the fuck? Skid is on the plane, and he's watching. Skid. Oh, this guy's just being a dick. Okay, good. He's letting me through. He's like, don't you dare not let me into this place. Open the gates. Witch are coming through. Walk slow, like real cop. Yeah. You know what? Just to be safe. <laughs> You've upset the guards. Oh, shit. <laughs> Didn't like that. So, sorry, guys. I'm a Witcher. It's Witcher stuff. Yeah. I'm just twitching, guys. Just, just Witcher stuff. I look cool in front of my fans. <laughs> oh, look at this place. This is beautiful. I remember this, actually. This is great. This so is a fat. I'm, like, I'm literally about to say, this was a family thing, wasn't it? It's called Family Matters. Maybe a family matter. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy. That's not Family Matters, was it? I don't know. I never remember the theme song. Uh, it might have been Family Matters. Look at this. Look at this beautiful Sex skin. on TV. Is that what sex it was? on TV. No, no, that's not right. <laughs> I never said sex on TV. Uh, all right, so this is going to be the setting of our next Twitch in this beautiful, rather large city. I think there's probably armorers, weapon makers, smithies, shops. Certainly some boats, and perhaps the daughter of the Bloody Baron. Dude, Fred the Fighter is on your Twitch right Get now. Get out of here! All the are way from the Philippines! Are you in the, they have internet in the Philippines? Freddy! Fred! Wow, that was fun. We got a lot of good fun. comments on that. We got people a lot of were... emails. People want us to do that every week now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's another item on the, on the business list tonight. All right, Joe and I, yeah, we have, we have a lot to talk we've about. Got a lot, we've got a lot to talk about. There's a lot happening with the G to the C to the P. And we also need to watch Minority Report. Uh, so <laughs> Which is the main that's reason. That's the main reason he came over. Uh, so, yeah, guys, thanks for uh, hanging out. Like I said, I'm going to try and do a lot more of this because I want to finish this fucking game so I can play Neo. How long until... A-S-A-P. How long until Neo? Easily 75 more Twitches. 
No, no, no. I mean, how long until the game actually released? Came out this week. It came out this yeah, week. It dropped Tuesday. Oh man. Gamespot dro- uh, gave the review finally after four days of playing it a nine out of ten today. Okay. They don't give solid. nines to everybody. They do not. IGN gave it a nine six. Pretty much nines across the board. Uh, I want him to be in a little bit better light here to end the Twitch. Ah, there it is. Rotten look. Beautiful. All right, guys. Guys, sorry it was so short, but just, yeah, it was good to see you all. Just a little uh, amuse bouche of Joe this <laughs> evening. Uh, Joe, are you going to Twitch some Darkest Dungeon at some point again? Yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as I can find. You know, the problem is that it's so difficult to Twitch. Like, you get to Twitch at full energy. Yeah. And I have to be quiet all the time, so it's not like... Oh, because your baby's sleeping in the other room. Right, like like literally okay. 20 feet away. So it isn't... I don't have the same... I had to keep my voice down the whole time. Yeah. So it doesn't have the same excitement level, but I do like somebody... Uh, one of these guys tuned in. I, I can't remember who it was, but was like, is this like late night Twitch with Joe? Because it was super like late night radio. Late night Twitch with yeah. Joe. But I mean, you couldn't have a more appropriate game. It really is sort of like, you know, dark and quiet and simple. But there are some epic moments. Did I tell you? Did I even tell you that you were the first death? Did I tell you that? No, I had a, there's a Troy character and he died. You, I didn't tell you. No! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a Troy Lavalley character. He came in, le- I didn't want to name anybody too early, so he, he, got, he leveled up like once or twice and then he earned it. So I was right. like, okay, I will name this character. And it was when the one I was doing with Matthew and we looked him over and what he had- What class was he? He had one of his negative quirks was egomania. That and about right. So it was like <laughs> Troy Lavalley. And everyone was like, that's great, Bubba. Oh, also, he was an occultist. So he, oh. his whole ability was that he heals, but there's also a chance he bleeds you whenever he heals. So I was I like, like that. this is Troy Lavalley. He gives a little, he takes a little. Exactly. Right. So we named him Troy. And honest to God, dude, I was in a dungeon. Things were going well. And then four creatures, four spiders, all ganged up on you. They only atta- one marked you and the next three hit you they and they poisoned me. you yeah. and you went to zero and then on your next tick of the poison, you had like a 60% chance to still not die but you failed the roll and it just went boom, save. big yeah. skull and you disappeared and now you're in my graveyard <laughs> oh, no. and it says what monster killed you and what ability and oh, everything. That's it cool. says succumbed to blight. <laughs> Troy the Valley. No! <laughs> Uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry I can't uh, play more, but we just we have too much to do, and I, uh, I haven't even had dinner. Um, but uh, Fred, take it yeah. easy, man. Thanks for popping in, and thanks so much for that email. That was a great idea, and, and we're going to – hopefully we'll do that again. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just save it here. Okay. That's saved, and then I'm going to jump into the water. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. <laughs> <laughs>